What up, YouTube? Big Lou tapping back in with what it do with Big Lou NFZ R2. Baby, baby. First time you're coming to the channel, be highly appreciated if you sub, shared, and like the channel with your family, your friends, your peoples, your folks, your gente, camaradas, comrades, associates, associates, buddies, pals, amigos, amigos, and panas. Feel free to leave a comment and I respond back to all the comments. Um, so this is going to be just a little quick one. Hopefully everything goes right with the cameras. I'm having issues with the phones, memories, and all kinds of other BS. Uh, but uh, this is about the Blade Runners. The Blade Runners were who people know as now. Now they're known as uh, Ultimate Warrior and Sting. Sting uh, was a big star with Jim Crockett Promotions. Later it became WCW. And also, w, I, I believe he performed in WWE and as well as other prom, uh, promotions afterwards. I'm not really sure of the names. If it was TNA or uh, TN, TNA or Ring of Honor, I'm not sure. And um, He's still wrestling to this day, I believe. If not, he's just retired in the last couple of years. And then the Ultimate Warrior went on to wrestle for WWF, became a big, huge star, Intercontinental Champion champion, and then uh, went to WCW and then retired again. Um they were known as the Blade Runners originally. They debuted in '85 uh, with uh, with um, Jarrett, with Jeff Jarrett's dad, um, trying to, Jerry Jarrett. Damn, I couldn't remember his first name. And they they wrestled in CWA, right, which was uh, Continental Wrestling Association. And they were trained by Rick Bassman and Red Bastine. And they were under the tutelage of uh, Eddie Gilbert for a time there. Um, and then uh, they went on to go. They went on to go to uh, Bill Watts Mid South Wrestling. That was short lived as well. And then uh, the Ultimate Warrior. They were known, like I had mentioned, they were uh, also known by the Freedom Fighter Rock and Freedom Fighter Sting. Um, they went on to. Uh, Ultimate Warrior went on to wrestle for W uh, World Class which was WCCW, World Class Championship Wrestling, out of Dallas, which was under uh, Fritz Von Erich, the father of the Von Erich brothers, and he wrestled there as the Dingo Warrior. And he had the same look as the Ultimate Warrior, except his hair was shorter, um, and he was bigger. He was a lot bigger then because he was, he was a bodybuilder. And then from there, um, as everybody knows, the rest is history. He goes to WWF, becomes the Intercontinental Champion, and then defeats Hulk Hogan to become the WWF World Heavyweight Champion. And then um, he had feuds with Rick, uh, Ravishing Rick Rude, with Macho Man, and also uh, uh, Macho Man, also Hulk Hogan. He had a few, a, a short run with uh, Honky Tonk Man. I remember Jake the Snake was, uh, it was, was, was training, or not training him, but it was, it was a storyline with Jake the Snake and him. And then uh, I know he had a little issue with uh, Andre the Giant. And then also, I believe it was, it might have been The Undertaker when The Undertaker first broke in. I I, I don't remember that part. Anyways, uh, Sting, on the other hand, wrestles for Jim Crockett Promotions, ends up going to Jim Crockett Promotions, becomes Sting. Um, and then that turn, ends up turning to WCW. And he becomes a, a TV champion, TV television champion, also the heavyweight champion, the NWA heavyweight champion. He also held the WCW heavyweight championship, uh, multiple titles. He, he might have even been the U.S. heavyweight champion at one some points or another. But that belt was mostly, during that time, was held mostly by Barry Windham and um, Lex Luger, Nikita Koloff during that time. Um, he, he mainly held the the TV title, if I remember correctly, and all, all, all the big gold belt, what they call right. He had feuds with the, uh, with the uh, Big Van Vader, with uh, Ric Flair, with uh, Lex Luger. You know what I'm saying? Different things. The difference between the two, uh, you know, Lick, they neither one of them. They were green as heck. They were stiff as heck when they first came out. Uh, the difference between the two is that Sting improved and improved quickly over the years. And was able to go in there and wrestle 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour if need be. You know, he can he can go in there and battle different guys and things like that. Whereas opposed to the Ultimate Warrior, Ultimate Warrior wanted to just, you know, uh, go in there, you know, clothesline, 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 uh, over the head press, 
slam, you know, and uh, things like that. And he really never learned, wanted to learn further. And a lot of guys didn't like his, uh, you know, his attitude. He, he, you know, 